Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Spotlights on Broadway. I'm Holy Mo. On this show, we bring you different Nigerian celebrities who we have come to love over time for the different things they do very well in their field. We put them on the spot, ask them questions about their career, personal life, relationships, scandals, secrets, and every single thing possible that puts them on the spot. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest in the studio, but I'm not going to reveal who the person is until we come back from this short break. Don't go nowhere. Welcome back guys. The show is still Spotlights on Broadway. Before we went on a short break, I told you we have someone very special in the studio today. She is a blogger and also a fashionista. She's ambassador to a fashion outfit called Miss K Boutique. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as I welcome the very fashionable Laura Ikeji. Hello Laura. Hi, hi. It's good to have you on the show. Oh, okay. Okay, Laura. So what has been the success story? What is your own personal story apart from being Linda's sister? Um, a lot of people call me Linda's sister. I don't particularly have a success story for now because I'm working so hard. I'm working towards having a success story someday okay. that I can tell you and tell everybody else. <laughs> All right. A lot of people say Linda's sister, Linda's sister, Linda's sister. I don't care if you call me Linda's sister. I don't care if you call me Laura's sister. The most important thing is, um, I capitalized on um, um, my sister's success. A lot of people don't. But instead of um, doing a regular job daily and or, or begging money or doing runs, I capitalized mm -hmm. on my sister's success. And, um, and it's working. I, lo I love fashion. I love beauty. I love hair. I love um, attention. <laughs> you know? So <laughs> I took uh, a little from Linda and it is working for me right now. So. Okay, so do you have people hate on you on the fact that you're Linda's sister? Like, for example, men hate on you because you're Linda's sister. You just want to take advantage of the fact that you are her sister. Um, yes, men hate on every girl. <laughs> um, yes, a lot of men um, give me attention because, um, yes, I'm Linda's sister and they know what they can gain by dating me. So I, I wouldn't use the word hate. Okay. They give me attention, extra attention, when they know that I'm Linda's sister because then, you know, that if you're dating Linda's sister, it's, um, there's a lot of advantage. Yes, uh, there's a lot of advantage, you know, from dating a Linda's sister. So, yeah, I get, I get extra attention from men and women. Oh, okay. So, um, okay, so recently you just started your own blog. Yes. What exactly is it about? It's a fashion and a lifestyle blog. And I actually personalized it. That's why it's different. Um, I don't write gossip. I don't write about it. your boyfriend, your girlfriend, <laughs> or whatever. I write, I write about clothes, um, shoes, accessories, and my lifestyle, my okay. fashion lifestyle. And it's been okay. I have a lot of visitors. Um, that's the good thing about being in this sister. <laughs> and I have a lot of commenters, which is the most you know unbelievable, um, exciting um, stuff that I've ever gotten involved in. I'm really, really excited about my blog, and yeah, it's it's going well. I love my fashion blog. Check my fashion blog out: www.lauraikeji.com. Thank you. Okay, all right, guys. We still have Laura Ikeji in the studio, and make sure you check out our fashion blog. Okay, guys, we're going on a short break now, and by the time we come back, I okay, guess we're putting Laura on the spot. Okay, don't go nowhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome back guys, it's still Spotlight on Broadway and we still have Laura Ikeji in the studio. Okay, so Laura, I'm going to be giving you three names. You are going to kill, shag and um, marry one. No way. <laughs> so you have options of MC Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> then you have okay. Big Sam. Oh, okay, that's my favorite. And super. then you have Fino. So if I get to marry one, I get to marry one. I'm going to kill Fina. Um, if I say I'm going to shag MC Galaxy, then this is going to be big news on the internet. Damn. Uh, <laughs> okay, so just pick one. Okay, so I'll marry MC Galaxy. And I'll shag Big Sam. And you kill Fino? Yeah, and I'll kill Fino. Oh, that's okay. Matter. So I'm going to ask you to do something you've never done. Not like you've never done before, but we've never really seen you do that. Okay. But I used to see you 
dance on Instagram and all that. So oh. I want you to sing a song. Oh, okay. God. So you have options of singing Ada by Flavor. You have Melo Melo by Olamide. You have Lagos Boys by Olamide still. And you have Connect by Fino. So, oh, jeez. Which one do you I'm really bad with lyrics. Just sing it the way you sing it, like when you be on your own. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh -uh. <laughs> That's how you sing it with my connect. I'm bad with lyrics. Bad, okay. bad. Okay, okay. Alright, no problem. So, um, Laura, you must have so many male crushes, female crushes as well, walk up to you and all that. So, how has it been when you have the extremists walk up to you and tell you how they feel? It makes you feel really terrible. I don't know why, I don't know if other people feel that way, but I personally feel that way. It gets too much. Oh. You know, when somebody likes you, it's okay. But when they over like you, and it becomes dangerous to both you and to them. Okay. And it becomes very harmful. I get quite irritated when it is too much. Like, um, walking up to me and telling me things you saw in your dream and things you want to do to me. I think it's very disrespectful. A lot of men do that to me. Um, oh. I've been approached at the airport twice. Once in London and the other one in Atlanta where, you know, different guys walked up to me and like, you know, in my dreams, I've done this, I've done that, and you know, I'll give you whatever you. Yeah, I think it's irritating. And I, when especially when men talk to me about money, I get really pissed. It's okay to some people; they find it really interesting. But to me, I think it's harmful oh. to both you and me. You know, so yeah. Okay. So, but when you think about it, like later on, is it quite funny or is it still irritating as well? When it comes to things being harmful, it's not funny. You know. Um, if you say it to me via Instagram, if you write it, maybe I find it really funny. But if you say it to me face to face, then I, I just want to keep my distance and, you know, because it's not safe for mm. both you and me. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. All right, guys, it's still Laura right. Ikej in the studio. We're going to be going on another short break now. What? And by the time we come back, she still has much to share with us. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. guys we still have Laura Ikeja in the studio okay Laura you recently talked about bullying oh yeah but people say like you're a very big bully how do you respond to that I don't know why anybody would say I'm a bully um my sister owns a blog um, that um, talk, talks about people right it doesn't concern me I don't own the blog I don't own a house in Banana Island um, I could understand if they say, okay, because your sister owns a blog that, you know, has some crazy comments about other people, but I would definitely not approach you and tell you nasty things, you know, I, because I have experienced it, I grew up with it, I, I don't want, I don't think I want my child to experience what I experienced as a child, because mm -hmm. um, I experienced a lot of bullying uh, um, as a child, and I talked about it on my YouTube channel, but we have a YouTube channel, oh. uh, you know, so I talked about it on my YouTube channel, um, about how I grew up and how I had a lot of bullies. I still have them online now, but because I'm an adult, I can deal with it. Okay. I can handle it. It's um, I put myself out there. I put myself here in the spotlight. So um, if you come at me, I know how to handle it. Then when I was younger, I did not handle it. I even didn't know who to tell. So people, any anybody in her right sense, or who, maybe I should say anybody that actually has met me before, she know that I'm not a bully. Okay. Or would know that I'm not a bully because I don't. I don't go. I, don't, I would never say any nasty thing to you. I would never disrespect you. I would never, you know, put you down because that's. I don't want. I don't want you to feel what I felt as a child. So definitely. So they. They. I. I think it's misconception. Oh, as mm -hmm. I owns a blog that they, you know they diss people. So why are you talking about bullying? That's your business. But I'm telling you what I went through as a child, and I don't want to go through it, and I don't want my child to go through it. Um. So like, I know what I've been through. I grew up like that. Um, for example, I, I hate to say this story because it takes me back and it makes me a little sad. Mm -hmm. I'm only smiling about things that I go through is in my head. Um, there was this day in secondary school uh, in a very crowded class of 62 people. 
and I was fat. I wasn't obese, but I was fat and I was short, and because we didn't grow up with a lot of money, so I had limited resources okay. like other kids in school. And somebody stole something. Okay. You know, they stole something in class, and mm -hmm. a group of girls pointed at me. And for some reason, I was so mad, and I was like, why me? Why me? And they kept on saying, you, 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 you look like a thief. I'm like, what? <laughs> I look like a thief? You know, before I knew, they took me to the principal's office, and some other seniors came. Say, yes, she looks like them. <laughs> how do thieves look like? I was about to ask. You know, how do thieves look like in secondary school? Because I didn't know. And instead of the principal to caution them, because I was crying, I was really crying. I really wanted to fight. I was crying, not me, I can't say. And the principal looked at me and just said worse things to me, nasty things to me. And I looked at the woman and I said, if I had worn my beret neatly and I had worn my skirt well ironed and my top well ironed and I sat down with my brown, brown sandals and my white socks, would you call me a thief? And she gave me a suspension letter. Wow. And that's how I left the school. And I never went back. Wow. Because I challenged her, I said, if I actually looked like her, this girl next here, next to me, and I was well dressed and everything, would you call me a thief? I said, like, you need to leave the school. I said, like, I'll go. And I left the school. And my parents were like, no, I said, no, I'll not go back to that school. I won't go back to the school where they called me, called me a thief. I've never stolen anything in my life. But I was accused of being a thief because oh, I wasn't people. dressed well. Now, when people tell me, you, you're always, I said, don't mess with my clothes, or my hair, my makeup, leave me the way I am. Hey, right. So that nobody will call me a thief when I'm sitting down in my house. But yeah, I went through, um, it was crazy. I went through a lot of stuff in secondary school that I don't want to remember. But at the end of the day, I see my secondary school class and I'm like, did you actually <laughs> tell me this? You know? So yeah, I tell people, people that are going through bull bullying in school, look, listen, you will be bullied in school. Fantastic. Get out of your chair. That's what I said to my YouTube channel. Get out of your chair. Get out of your, uh, out of your bed. They should encourage you. Stand up. Dress good. Go look for something to do with your life. Be successful because the same people who are bullying you in secondary school are people who see you now and say, you know, my name is Susan's person. You yeah, have worked in secondary school together. You're like, oh, yeah? Oh, really? Because you're driving your big car. You're living in your big apartment and you're a very successful person. You know, so yeah. Bullying is crazy. Okay, so I'm going to pick out something from what you said about the fashion and what you're wearing now. Did you do this or you're actually portraying someone else? You know, no, I don't. I don't make my own clothes anymore. Um, okay. This is Miss K. This is Miss K. You know, I'm very lucky on Instagram. I get everything <laughs> for free. Every day. Okay. You know, so yeah. All right, so um, what exactly do you talk about on your YouTube channel? Um, lifestyle. Me. Um, it's very personal. I started out with bullying because that's, you know, because that's, that's old. I'm done with that chapter in my life. Um, I've, at some point, I talk about my relationship, relationship with my YouTube channel. So at some point, I talk about my family on my YouTube channel. At some point, yeah, uh, um, I, I make it personal. Okay. Yeah. Mm. All right. So for those who would want to meet Laura, you have an Instagram account. Oh, of course, everybody, I think almost everybody should know that they have Twitter accounts where they can follow you. So you just want to say out for people who don't actually know your Instagram account. At Laura KG on Instagram. At Laura KG on Twitter. At Laura KG on Facebook. Okay, so a word for your followers and your fans out there. I love you guys. Thank you for encouraging me. Thank you for calling me beautiful. I enjoy people calling me beautiful. Thank you for um, um, fighting for me and scratching their faces when they want to harass me. <laughs> thank you so much. I love you and I appreciate everything. All right. Thank you very much, Laura, for joining thank us. You, the thank you, darling. Thank you for bringing me. Mwah. Mwah. All right, guys. We've come to the end of the show. My name is Holly Mo. Make sure you stay tuned next week when we're coming your way to have a lovely day. <laughs>